Drum roll. All right, guys, what is going on? It is Nick here, and I, you know, I don't even know how to explain this anymore than I try to, but this is going to be my top two from Use Your Illusion 2. Just realized that they were both two. Everything is so interesting, man. Um, Yeah, I'm really sorry, guys. Not only has my editor been acting weird, it just... I got Use Your Illusion 2 edited, right? Because you saw Hardwired. That was not edited. It's literally the exact recording that I made because that was the only way it seemed that it was going to work. So it's like the one time I'm going to try and let that slide and happen. And so I edit U Use Your Illusion 2. And it's like 20... Four minutes, I think. And somehow you upload it to YouTube and it's 18 minutes. Like, I have no earthly idea how that even happens or makes sense. I don't know if YouTube is doing that. If it's just, like... It's kind of frustrating, honestly. So, and I'm already trying to talk fast in these rankings as it is. So, again, this is a little bit off-putting because it's my top two. But I guess those will be a bit shorter. Um, but thank you guys for your support on both of the rankings so far. I know they're not my most watched videos, but any of the support helps any of it. So trying to get back on track here because right after I do this, I'm going to try and film a poll type video and get that started. So yeah, I mean, we had So Fine be number three. That was my, uh, my number three. And also, I got to say one last thing. I'm really sorry that my webcam here, like if I talk for like over 15 minutes or something, it starts to like not be in sync with the audio and this camera is really great but besides that it's not so another thing added to the list of my uh, technology technology stuff that i gotta figure out but hopefully this this, this, ugh, this video shouldn't be that long so getting into my top two number two is shotgun blues and it's just funny because i'm gonna be totally saying different stuff than i said in the original video which again sorry you guys can't see that and I'm trying to remember because I, I remember when I said so fine I really love so fine a lot because it has those ups and downs I said where it has like the high points and the low points but they kind of mixed it so well together and um, even the chorus was kind of like more in the slower aspect and the faster aspect which I thought was different and you know he's like so fine or like however way he said that line in the song I thought that was well worth me putting it in that third place spot because I really like it a lot so with Shotgun Blues, it's a totally different type of song than that, but the way I think I remember putting it, because I, I want to try and remember the reasons why, is because it's like the way the energy of it, and then the way they constructed whatever type of, you want to call it a beat, the rhythm, like, it, it's not like super like the fastest thing I've ever heard, but like, like it's, it's, it's a non-stop, like, I'm really... Like, the downtime really isn't there. And with... It kind of reminded me of a song... Again, I'm blanking. From User Illusion 1. Um, I think it was Dustin, Dustin Bones. It kind of, I, I want to say, reminded me of that. But, like, more of an upgraded version. Because I really like Dustin Bones a ton. Like, that's a great song. But this one, it kind of did that same thing. Because they always got those pianos and just all the instruments roaring. And so, even with all these songs on this list being so great. Because, you know, got Knock on Heaven's Door, like I said... As strange you could be mine and uh like those being really noteworthy popular guns N' roses songs with shotgun blues i know it's not like super popular but i know that people i think for the most part respect the song i think it's really great really enjoyable one and for me personally i i just that song i can play like with many of these other songs i can just put on uh shotgun blues and it'll just be like like just just have, just having a jam is the word I want to say. It's it's just the right pacing. I just get into it, and from the beginning to the end, it just it's just a song that flows for me. And even though it's not like maybe one of their most noteworthy songs or most popular that everybody knows, I'm so glad that I've heard it because I think it's just worth that um, placement in my list. And I think for the majority, people really do appreciate and like the song a lot. But I just don't think it really gets its uh, I don't know what the word would be. It's I think more people need to listen to the song, to my current knowledge. I don't know, maybe people do know it a lot, but I, I just haven't heard about it until I heard it in this album. So it's a great song. It comes in my number two. And um, if you guys have guessed already, Civil War is number one. Now, this one, 
it's a big one because it's a long song and with like november rain or you got um no don't cry isn't super long you got like uh Man, I'm forgetting it again. You know, the Guns N' Roses songs that are like 9 to 10 minutes. As with Civil War. You got like these super long songs. And somehow, up until this point in my life, like when I started doing these reactions to Guns N' Roses, I was never used to like listening to music with this consistency of length and instruments playing at the same, well, yeah, at the same time and throughout. It's just like, on this whole other level... Or I'm just like, man, where, like 10 minutes, basically, you know, it's just, that's mind boggling to me how they pull it off. And I mean, I think the Civil War is a pretty popular song. It's still because of the length, not like to their super known heights. It's pretty cool that November Rain being how long it is, is like one of their most noteworthy. But even then, that's like one or two of the songs that are that popular. But Civil War, I think is pretty safe to say it's a pretty popular and well-known song because these songs are pretty old as well so with more time that passes people not that they forget about but the newer generations like me especially where i had no clue about this type of stuff are definitely missing out and there's just such great guitar solos i, I want to say riffs is the right word i could be totally using that wrong but i i think riffs maybe are included in, in this in the song if that's the right uh, way of using that word I just out of all the songs because I love Shock and Blues so fine Knock on Heaven's Door is strange you could be mine some of the best Guns N' Roses stuff out there but Civil War with what they can do in that length that amount of time with those instruments everything coming together it just blows me away with that time that they have in there that it just works so well in the way that it does and it and if you play that song 10 times, bro, you got like an hour's worth of listening to one song 10 times. Like that's, it's, that's, you know, think about that. It's, it's pretty insane. Like if I just want to play it in the background, an hour would go by because I listened to one song 10 times. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know a lot of songs that are longer than 10 minutes. I'm sure there are ones out there, but like, I think like 11 minutes, maybe 14 minutes is the most I've seen. Like... I'm drawing it a blank right now, but Civil War, these two, again, I'm sorry that it got cut off in the last video, but yeah, Shotgun Blues number two, Civil War number one, and this is just some of the best Guns N' Roses have to offer, and with Use Your Illusion 1, I do think, I might have to go back, but I, I think I did enjoy Use Your Illusion 2, maybe just a bit more than uh, Use Your Illusion 1, but Use Your Illusion 1 was still a top-notch album, even if there's some things, just is in this album as well, where there's just like, not that I dislike it or hate it, but it's just kind of like not always up to my entire standard of what I want to listen to. But there's always enjoyment to be had in there. But without a doubt, I want to say I'm pretty sure Appetite for Destruction is some of the best music I've ever heard. One of the best albums I've ever heard. It's such good, good stuff, man. But thank you guys for watching this. I know it's a bit kind of weird because I already had my ranking video. So now I'm going to... I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. I'm probably going to title it like my top two huge illusion songs <laughs> it's gonna be like um lame or whatever but hopefully you guys most of you who watch my channel um understood what happened it, w it wasn't my fault i wasn't trying to do this intentionally it was just youtube and my editor man i i'm gonna try and figure it out but uh bear with me like you guys have been for the time being and uh look out for that poll uh regarding metallica and guns N' roses and uh yeah just look out for other reactions i'll be doing um probably gonna try and uh, branch out a bit more into more of like the movie tv realm type of videos and such because i am starting school again soon and um because i am a movie major or in the film type of major i should say uh i want to kind of bring my channel back to doing some of that but of course music will still be totally around the channel not neglecting any sort of music that's for sure but thank you guys all for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video peace everybody